What's going on everybody, Ronnie DiMaggio here, product specialist here at BMW of Morristown. And in today's video, we are going to be going for a drive in the 2023 BMW 760i. So we have a bunch of seven series here at BMW of Morristown, and we thought why not hop in one and go for a spin to tell you guys about what it's like to actually drive on the road. So we already did a full walk around and overview of the new seven series. We'll link to that video right here in a little pop out card, but we thought because the 7 Series drives so incredibly well, it's so comfortable, so refined, we wanted to share that with you guys in a video. So we're going to hop in the car, go for a spin around our test drive route, and tell you guys how incredible the 7 Series is to drive, what it's like to drive, what it's like to be in the car, all that stuff. So let's go ahead, hop in, and we'll get started. All right, so here we are inside of a 2023 760. Let's go ahead and start it up. As you can see, starts very quietly, and that's due in large part to the mild hybrid system. The starter's super quiet, not a lot of noise when you start up, which is nice. So as we let the car settle down from its cold start here, let's talk a little bit about the specs of the 760. So obviously this is a 760, this is the V8 model. You can option the 740 if you would like an inline six or the i7 if you would prefer an all electric version of the 7 Series. However, with the 760 of a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8, which makes 536 horsepower. So plenty of power on tap. Obviously this car is brand new, still in its run-in period, its break-in period for the next 300 miles or so. So we won't be doing any um, high RPM or aggressive accelerations or anything like that, of course. We're just gonna tell you how the 7 Series drives, but do know that it does have 536 horsepower if you're somebody that likes acceleration. Uh, so as we set off here, the first thing that I like to talk about as far as the new 7 Series is the driving position. So the new 7 Series is substantially larger than its predecessor. So we will throw some numbers on the screen here as far as length, width, and height, those dimensional um, measurements. But the first thing I noticed getting into the new 760 compared to its predecessor is just how much bigger it is. You sit much higher, you feel like you're driving a much larger vehicle, and that comes through immediately as soon as you get in the car. If you're a previous 7 Series buyer, you're going to immediately feel like you're driving a bigger car than what you used to be driving. So that's a good thing for a lot of people. A lot of people, especially 7 Series clients, like driving big cars, and you get that feeling in the new 7 Series. It feels very substantial, really, really, um, has a lot of presence on the road, feels very big, which is, like I said, a good thing for a lot of 7 Series buyers. Okay, so the next thing that I think is important to note with the 7 Series, and this is something you would always expect with the 7 Series, is how refined the NVH noise vibration and handling characteristics of this car are. We're going down a pretty bumpy road here. We're about to go over some railroad tracks, which are very bumpy, which are on our test drive route for a reason to show people how, how nicely the cars ride and how well these handle these bumps, but uh, pretty substantial bump here, and as you heard, you probably didn't hear much. Uh, there's not a lot of noise that comes into the cabin with the 7 Series, which is fantastic from a refinement standpoint. Uh, wind noise is extremely minimal. We're only going about 40 miles an hour here. However, even at highway speeds, uh, this car has really, really impressive sound deadening. It's almost as if it completely seals you out of the outside world. That car just passed me at 45 miles per hour, miles per hour or so, I didn't hear it at all. Um, a truck drives by you on the highway, you really, I truly mean you can barely hear it, UPS truck accelerating there, literally don't hear it at all. So that's the really impressive thing as far as refinement goes with the 7 Series. It's extremely, extremely quiet, which again, being a flagship luxury sedan, something that you're going to be looking for, something you're going to appreciate if you're a buyer of this car. The noise vibration and handling is fantastic. As far as refinement in other aspects, the input refinement, steering's extremely light, as you might expect. It has decent feel to it, so it does feel like you're moving around a substantial vehicle because you are with the size of this car. However, it's perfectly uh, weighted to kind of the um, personality of the car. It doesn't feel like if you're driving a sports car, you want something heavier like an M4 or all of our M cars have pretty heavy steering, even in the comfort settings. The 7 Series just feels perfectly weighted, really nice and effortless, uh, but still maintains the amount of weight that you would want to make you feel like you are 
doing something substantial. Uh, as far as the throttle goes, super smooth in comfort mode. You can dial it up to sport mode if you want to, if you want something a little snappier, a little sharper, you can do that. But again, not really the, the idea with the 7 Series to be sporty, but it can be sporty if you want it to. We'll talk about that in a second. But as far as uh, throttle and comfort mode, uh, like I said, really smooth, really linear. Even the actual physical feedback of the throttle pedal is really impressively uh, substantial feeling. It feels like when you push on the gas, there's a little bit of resistance there, more so than what you would get in other BMW models, which is a little piece of attention to detail that I appreciate. Um, makes it feel like you're driving something a little bit more, again, substantial, um, something with a little bit more presence. That throttle feels uh, like it's giving you some feedback as you press it down. Um, another thing, as far as refinement goes, is ride quality, which is really important. It is like the pinnacle of judging a luxury flagship sedan. How well does it ride? How nicely does it soak up bumps? Really, really well is the answer for the 7 Series. That shouldn't come as a surprise. Big car, um, and the 7 Series uh, has always had good ride quality, and you know, bigger cars generally lean towards ride quality as opposed to sportiness or something like that. But the ride quality in the 7 Series is really fantastic. It glides over these bumps as if they don't even exist. Cracks in the pavement like this, where the pavement goes from one surface to another, you barely even feel them. Uh, there's not a lot of noise from the suspension, so you don't actually hear the shocks and springs compressing and, you know, all those joints and um, connections in the suspension that do move quite a bit. Uh, you don't actually hear them moving, which is good, and they soak up bumps extremely, extremely well. The ride quality is sublime. Right now, on a relatively flat road, um, it just feels like it's floating down the road. Really impressive shock absorption and general ride quality in the 7 Series. Now, that's not to say that it doesn't handle well. A lot of times, people think of ride quality and um, suspension capabilities from a performance perspective as being mutually exclusive. They're not. Obviously, we've proven that in other cars, not just the 7 Series, but for how much this car weighs, for how big it is, it actually handles really impressively well. Um, as is true of all BMWs, and I say this in a lot of videos, there's not a single BMW currently on sale today that you couldn't take out onto a back road and have fun with. That is BMW's thing. They are the ultimate driving machine. Uh, they really haven't strayed from that recently. The cars are very different than they may have been in the past when that moniker was created. However, they still live up to it pretty well. So. Uh, what I'm getting at is the 7 Series actually handles really well. For how big it is, uh, there's not as much body roll as you might expect. The body does shift a little bit. Obviously, you can't totally eliminate body roll given the weight, size, and the way that this car is uh, set up for comfort and luxury, but it is impressively poised around corners. Uh, you really don't feel like you're leaning your head against the window like you do in some other cars when you're going around a corner quickly. The 7 Series does a great job of mitigating body roll, which is a big part of how stable a car feels in corners. Uh, I won't get super into how sharp the turn-in is and how much grip there is in corners because uh, this isn't a race car and I'm not a race car driver. So uh, we'll save that for the professionals if somebody wants to test it on the track. But as far as the daily driver's perception of how the 7 Series drives, uh, the average driver's idea of how the 7 Series drives from a performance perspective, you're not going to have any complaints as far as the way the 7 Series handles because it does handle really, really nicely. All right, so we touched on a lot of the main points that 7 Series buyers are probably going to be wondering about. Noise vibration and handling, ride quality, refinement, things like that. But I also want to touch on one last thing because this is a 760 with the V8 and it is the new MV8, the S68. So you guys are probably wondering how the engine feels. Like I said, this car is still in its break-in period, so uh, we're not able to really do anything crazy with it. Not that we would want to on our local uh, small town roads anyway, but we can accelerate mildly just so you guys can maybe hear what the engine sounds like. And I can kind of give you an idea of what the acceleration is like in everyday driving scenarios, because most of the time, 7 Series buyers probably won't be doing any super hard aggressive accelerations but you might want to know what it's like if you're just merging onto a highway, accelerating uh, up to three and a half, maybe 4,000 RPM. So I'll give it about 40% half throttle here. And as you can see, accelerates really nicely. Um, the power is, as of true of all modern 
uh, turbocharged BMW engines. It comes on really nice and early in the RPM band. So I'm at uh, 1500 RPMs here. I'll slow down a little bit so I have some room to accelerate. And if I just gently lean into the throttle, there's a big wave of torque that you can just ride out easily. Really strong thrust in the back of the seat, which is what you would expect from a twin turbo V8, of course and what you would require of a luxury sedan. Part of being a good luxury sedan is obviously having the luxury of passing whoever you want, whenever you want, at whatever speed you want. And the 7 Series is really good at that. It has the power for that. So the power in the 7 Series will not leave you wanting. Now, that is, uh, it's important to point out that this is a 760 with the V8, obviously. Uh, the 740, is the 375 horsepower model that is the b58 turbocharged inline six so that is down you know almost 200 horsepower from the model we're driving here so the acceleration won't be quite as strong however it still moves the car really nicely it still doesn't feel sluggish or anything like that in the b58 <coughs> powered version of the 760 but if you want that acceleration if you're used to something like a Mercedes S550 or um, a BMW 750, some of those, most of those V8 powered luxury sedans, the 760 is going to be the one you want. And we'll cap off our driving segment here with another mild little acceleration up to the posted speed limit of 40 miles an hour. So again, about half throttle here, nice wave of torque, <coughs> revs all the way up to, or only up to 3,500 or so. RPMs because it doesn't need to rev. You could drive this car in the break-in period uh, for its entire life and you would never feel like it was out of power. They could cap the red line here at 4,000 RPMs and you would never want to go over that because you have so much torque and power available down low, which is awesome and great for a big car like this. It has a nice, meaty, substantial torque curve down at the bottom of the power band. But that's going to do it for our quick driving segment. Let's go ahead and pull back in to the parking lot and we'll wrap up with some final thoughts. All right, so that's going to do it for our driving review of the 2023 760i. Hopefully that gave you guys a good idea of what it's like to actually go for a test drive, take the 7 Series out for a spin. As I said, it's great to drive, really, really comfortable, supremely so. Uh, good power, good handling. It's what you'd expect out of a BMW flagship sedan. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you think we deserved it. Drop a comment if you have any questions about the 760 or any comments, questions about anything BMW related. We read and respond to all of our comments. Uh, follow us on our other socials at BMW of Morristown on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And of course, if you're interested in a new BMW, give us a call at 973-455-0700 or visit us at 111 Ridgedale Ave here in Morristown, New Jersey. And that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.